Inside the Pelican case, we will have these little user's manual binders um, to set everything up. Go to these configurations pages, and this will be our basic configuration for uh, one team with two sets of comms, and our secondary configuration will be for two different teams with four different sets of comms using the splitter box. So we have the command module and that goes to an attendant headset. And then, um, so in this picture, command module, attendant headset, and then two sets of comm cords to headsets. And we have a speaker box that goes off on this third port. So what that looks like is we have our command module right here. Okay, this goes off to the attendant headset. He has a push to talk and a mute button. Um, on switch, we have a port. It's the, and they're all labeled. This port goes to the, the talk box. So you turn that on and you can hear what's going on. Um, it has a pretty good sized speaker. So you have to be aware that there's four screws that you can take out and there's three C batteries that go inside here to power it. So a Phillips head or a, a flathead screwdriver will get that open. We have a um, listening probe that you can drop down into a confined space and hear what's going on. That also can hook up here as well. And then we have two ports. So if we have just two hoses of comms that we're gonna send out, we can plug into these two ports, port one and port two. If we have four different sets of comms that we need, we can plug in the splitter box. So that would go flipped around and hooked in to these two spots right here. And then we could split four different sets of comms off of this splitter box. So for our basic setup, we will only need these two hoses or two lines. So we're going to take the comms hoses and put them in with the airline hoses for the SAR cart so that everything's inside one hose inside a protective jacket. So then we have our comms lines connections that go to each entrant. So if it doesn't have a built-in push to talk, then we have to set one in there in between. So we have four different sets of comms for the, the rescuers where they can put up these headsets on that can go underneath your helmet. So you attach this over your ear and then this section goes around your neck to the left or right of your Adam's apple so that the vibration in your neck can, can be picked up and communicated. So the push to talk button, there's a mute. If you push it in and lock it up, that's the mute button. If you want to push to talk, just push that in. And if you want 100% of the time, everyone can talk and hear each other, just leave that button out and everyone can hear each other. To push it in and push it up is the mute. So that's our, our comm setups. We also have extra headsets. Um, we have an extra talk box, but that's not needed. So on the command module, you take this and unscrew it and there's a cover that goes over it that you unscrew and you put three C batteries in there as well, positive side facing out and that powers the command module and then the three C batteries in the talk box. So there's an on off switch. There's a noise reduction switch, volume for the attendant, and volume for both uh, line one and line two. All the batteries are going to be kept in the box for the C batteries so that they don't get drained. So when you get this out, you'll have to put the batteries in the both boxes, hook up all these connections, and then your rescuers can enter the space and have crystal clear communications.